Hey everyone, this is my 12 week pregnancy updates. Um, I'm doing pretty well and baby is growing really good and already is the size of a line. So that's quite funny to think about that baby is already about this big, I guess. And at the end of the video, I will include a belly shot so you can see um, how my belly is developing. Now I will start with the symptoms as always and nausea was a little bit better this week which was such a relief. I had several hours uh, in which I felt a little bit normal again. Oh that was so good, so good. Now as the week progressed the nausea became a little bit worse again and I had to throw up once but luckily it was just once and not again after that. Now, I'm still pretty tired so I go to bed early and I try to take it easy during the day and I still go out on walks and I can walk a little bit faster again so that's very good. Uh, I don't have to walk very slow like a few weeks before and um, I still have to pee a lot. I wake up during the night I think twice on average so that is annoying but also part of pregnancy. So far I wasn't too emotional. Uh, I do cry a little bit easier I think and I was sometimes a little bit more irritable but in general I've been very very much like me. Just how I always am pretty even tempered I guess you could say. Um, which is a great relief for Daniel because he had heard all these funny and creepy stories about women turning into monsters from his colleagues at work. <laughs> but this week I had a major meltdown. My husband went out for groceries and he didn't buy everything that was on the list and I started bawling and bawling and I just could not stop crying. So that was quite funny and uh, I think he was a little... He didn't know what was happening <laughs> and why I was reacting the way I did. But I explained to him that I was just upset and that the hormones made everything worse and he was sweet enough to get the groceries that he didn't pick up the first time. So that was really nice. And I think that was the only time this week that I was really emotional. Now a new symptom this week is sore hips and legs, especially in the morning when I wake up. And it feels like I've been laying on one side for far too long. And I've always been a side sleeper and um, it has never bothered me. So I'm not sure why, why this is happening. I'm sure it's just pregnancy hormones. But that is a new symptom. I don't have it every morning, but very frequently. Now this week I went to the midwife again. And this time my mother-in-law and sister-in-law joined me because Daniel had to go to work. And the midwife had the results of my blood work and everything was perfectly fine. Also my iron was fine, which I thought was a little surprising because I'm pretty busy all the time. So I thought maybe that was due to low iron, but my iron levels were really good. Now the midwife made another scan because on the last scan she couldn't tell exactly how far along I was because of the position of the baby. And uh, this time the baby was positioned in a way that she could tell. So on the day that I had the ultrasound I was exactly 12 weeks. And it was great to have another ultrasound and to see the baby move and jump around. And it was also very special, especially for my mother-in-law. Because, of course, it was the first glimpse of her grandchild <coughs> that she saw. And, uh, yeah, she really enjoyed it. And my sister-in-law really enjoyed it too. So it was really special to share the ultrasound and those moments with them. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it in one of the last videos. But um, we are having just one baby, so it's not twins. The midwife could clearly see that there was only one child, one heartbeat, and that's perfectly fine with me. Now, after the ultrasounds, my mother-in-law took my sister-in-law and me shopping. So we went to the city center and she bought all kinds of clothes for the kids of my sister-in-law. She has two little girls. And my mother-in-law just really loves to do that, shop for clothes for her children and grandchildren. So we enjoy that. And she bought all kinds of maternity clothes for me. Really nice clothes. Uh, and if you would like to see a maternity clothes haul, let me know, then I will share it with you. We also had lunch together and we had a very good time. So it was a great day all together, seeing that baby was all right and having a good time with family. Now in the upcoming pregnancy vlogs, I will also talk about weight gain. And so far I haven't gained a lot of weight. I gained one kilo, but then I lost it again. 
And before I was pregnant, I weighed 56.5 kilos. And I think the last time I weighed myself recently, I was about 56.7 or 8 kilos. So hardly any weight gain. Now I'm really curious how much weight I will gain this pregnancy. And uh, I should gain a little bit more than the average pregnant person because uh, when you compare my weight to my height, I don't weigh enough. So I'm really curious, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not worried about it and I will keep you updated. Now another symptom that I didn't mention before is that my nose seems to be always bleeding. And uh, I thought that would just pass, but every week it's the same. And apart from that, I, feel, I start to feel around ligament pain a little bit. It's not too bad, it's just a little uncomfortable. And my skin is still quite dry. And something else, I think that's new this week, was that my heart sometimes acts up. So sometimes it will start pounding very, very quickly. And sometimes it feels like my heart skips a beat or something. And um, one of my mom's friends also mentioned that she, uh, that her heart acted a little weird during her pregnancy. And I'm curious if you have experienced that too, if you have been pregnant, so please let me know. Now this is it for today, thank you for watching, if you have any questions you can leave them down below and I would love to see you in the next video. Bye!